In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import a schema using GraphQL in Postman. The first way to import a schema is through introspection. To do that, let me go ahead and add a GraphQL request. I'm going to call this introspection request. And to do this, I can, of course, add a URL that has a schema loaded, such as my Postman Echo schema. I can see that I'm automatically able to fetch the schema in my Query Explorer using introspection. And I can go ahead and send that query as so. The second way to work with a schema in GraphQL is by importing a schema. So let's go ahead and add a new request and I can show you an example of what that looks like. I can call this import request and I can go to schema and I can click on import a schema to import a schema that I might have available locally. Here I have a GitHub GraphQL schema that I can go ahead and click on import. And I can see on my query side that I'm able to now look at all the various operations that I have available, such as mutations, as well as queries. If I have the URL for this particular request, I can add this URL into my URL bar, and I can start working with this particular request once I get authenticated. To authenticate, I can always go to the authorization tab and set my authentication as so. The final way to import a schema is through an API. So I can go ahead and go to the APIs tab and I can work to design and create an API using Postman. Let's create a new API and let's call it person API. I'm going to go ahead and continue with that repository and add a definition by authoring it from scratch. I can add a GraphQL as my definition type and my definition format as GraphQL. I can go ahead and click on create definition and I can find the data that I want to use to design my API. Here I have an example that I wanted to share which uses two different operations for query and mutation. Basically, this is creating a person using age and string, and I can go ahead and save that data. Now, if I wanted to import this particular API, I can go ahead and create a new request into this collection, and let's call this API requests, and I can use my API that I have created on my APIs tab. Now you're now you see that you are using the API that API that you've created and you're able to work with query and mutation. I hope this shows you the various ways to work with GraphQL schemas in Postman. <laughs>